Gets moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion is carried. Rich. Good morning. Yep. Um, I will to discuss Gary Rowe today and kind of clean up after some wind and stuff over the weekend. So, um, got a set of plans, final plans due Tuesday. I had some computer problems this morning. So, um, I'll try to bring a type sheet for you guys next week to sign off. Right. Recording is on right now. So, that's for the leader with the wind north. We'll get some of the middle and fill over later. So, and then uh, talked to Mitch Cummins last week about contract renewal, and I'll set it up. They were trying to figure out who was supposed to yeah. set the time and place up, and I'll just take care of it sometime here when budget season here slows down and we get stuff figured out. So, not a whole lot to discuss this morning that I have. So, it's up for review or to look at or whatever. Not a lot's changed. I know we've got some smaller culvert work, hopefully, that we're trying to get done this spring, summer season, I guess. So, um, all in all, not a lot changed in the budget as far as what we normally do. I track trends when I do my budget because things always change. Um, so, it's hard to determine exactly what we're going to do. And the trends usually tell us where the money's at. So, right now, with the carryover balance, the income side of things is budgeted, I think, at 6.3 million and expenditures at 5.8. The carryover balance is about 416,000, which is really low of a carryover balance, but um, I have a feeling projection wise, we'll have a, a larger carryover balance this year, too. So that'll change. Um, what I don't have for you right now, though, is I'm still working on the farm market funds and the bridge funds. So to tell you any projects we're going to do. What I do is I budget everything that's necessities first, maintenance and everything else. The last two things I budget for is construction and equipment. That usually tells us what we have left. And construction is usually first and equipment's last, but we need to start keeping our system of upgrades on the equipment. So um, we've got a half a million dollars in equipment, which you know, the way things are costing isn't a lot, but and it's going to determine when we get the equipment too. If we order something, I don't know if it'll take us a year to get it or not. So. But to keep an eye on, on the supply chain and see what things are at now, I think the last letter I got, things are nine, 10 months out. So, I mean, that puts you almost in the fiscal year by the time you get around to ordering it. So, what kind of um, equipment are you thinking? Are you what's looking, that? What kind of equipment are you looking Well, for? I'm trying to think if we're going to need, I'm trying to remember what we ordered, what we got yeah. last, I think. Truck. Uh, mm -hmm. We probably need another truck. Um, motor graders are getting, I mean, we probably have enough in the budget to do maybe not quite a motor grader in a truck. I'm hoping to upgrade my vehicle here. It's got 170,000 miles on it, but that's that's a that's a small cost compared to the larger equipment. So um, it'll be either a truck or a motor grader. And I'm just trying to remember. I think the last motor grader we got was the John Deere, and that was a couple of years ago now. So um, the, the thing that the, the tough part is with the motor graders is we're having a really difficult time getting parts for these things now. Uh, when we call our parts suppliers, they're scavenging. To find what we need on, on some of our stuff too and the, the biggest issue is those champion volvos are backup machines so they're not used all year round they're just used in the winter time which is a critical time for them to be available but you know do you start you know we got to figure out when, when enough is enough that's taking money into the older things that you can get parts for and maybe maybe a person starts looking at used motor graders as backups instead of we're, we're still Putting our new stuff right back down on the fleet when we get new, and we we push it back into the backup equipment. But sometimes we uh, the way the backup everything's working right now. But you know, I'm trying to figure out what to do in the future for as these machines age less gracefully than they have. Mm -hmm. okay. Any questions on the budget that you've been you guys had a chance to look at things? No, we just, um, <laughs> it's it's hard to, on this budget to uh, pinpoint anything. Like I said, I just average trends out. We'll probably have um, consultant piece this year just with some small bridge stuff that we've got to get done or need to get looked at anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I know our bridge inspection is complete in Worth County here, and I don't think we had any major issues to deal with, so. When will we see that, the bridge report? Um, I don't know for sure. 
I, I know it'll probably be later this spring, probably okay. February, March. And that that's usually I'll, I'll hopefully get that before I do my DOT budget program. That way I can start programming stuff. Right now I've got stuff that from previous years programs that kind of gets pushed around, and then look at the funding and move what I think is less critical down a year. But um, once we get the bridge report, we'll know if we've got some bridges posted, and then they'll give us recommendations as to what they see. Like if they need something programmed in four years, we can program it in four years. If it's six years out, we can kind of hold back. But each year is, you know, every two years, you just never know the deterioration of some of this stuff is. Right. And trying to keep up with it is the top part. So. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Is there, I don't know if you've heard much, is there any new news with the, the big infrastructure building? The, the only thing that I can, nothing is, is set in stone. What I understand is, yes, they, they put more money into infrastructure. Um, some of it seems to be light rail, things like that. I mean, they, I think they've expanded what transportation is and some things, but they've added more money to bridges. Um, a lot of it seems to be more competitively. You have to, you have to put an application in to get some of this. And it's for large bridges that you normally can't afford. Right. Like I, I know our bridge funding is gonna, is projected to be lower this fiscal year than previous years because with the improvements we do, the funding is based on square footage of poor bridge deck. Well, as we improve things, the square footage of poor gets reduced. And then every two years you do another bridge inspection. And, and but right now we're projected at, at um, I'm gonna be wrong if I say it, but I wanted to say not much over $200,000 for the year. And that doesn't even put a box cover in the ground. So, or, it, it won't put a twin box covered in the ground. It might put a single box covered yeah. ground. And that's we don't have many locations to put singles in. But we talked about the transportation board on Wednesday. I think they said the, any of the bridge about, funding is going to be for major bridges. Yeah, the the, bridges the, the, the one to one to ten million dollar bridges yeah. that people we can don't afford to replace. And, right. You know, we would try to apply for something in that. You know, if we've got something over the Shell Rock that needs to be replaced, you're looking at pushing that. I mean, especially when you're getting two hundred thousand dollars a year, you're looking at you know even if if it's a pretty large bridge, you're looking at ten years to try to hold that money. We can't hold that money that long. We can't. They only allow us a five year or a, a five year accumulation or three years. I can't remember how much that. But we don't get to accumulate very long. We got to spend it. Well, that's you can use other funding to help supplement it, but it just kind of stinks that we can't hold our money longer to do big things. Right. So. <clears throat> right. So we try to do, try to make do with what we have. And so, okay. Yeah. I mean, then the funding, you you understand the funding about as much as the rest of us as far as where that money's going. Okay. And they don't have it specifically ironed out yet as to how much is going where. And now we won't see that for another, who knows, eight months or more. So, <coughs> usually those to larger areas and yeah we'll get our fitness. yeah a little we'll get our token okay. yeah. that's how it goes okay you guys got any other questions okay all right um we will just throw we got drainage claims <laughs> Motion to approve drainage claims. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay, moving to second and further discussion. Hearing none, all those bears say aye. 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 Motion to carry. Some coins. Yep. yep. Second motion to approve the claims. Second motion to approve the claims. Second that. Second it. Any further discussion? 
Chairman Nunn, all those in favor say aye. 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 I think we're good, aren't we? Bring the other stuff over. Sure. Get it done. Sure. Wasn't any reports, I don't think, was it? This is a minute here. We're going to take that. We're going to take them the same. So. Thank you, Justin. Good, thanks. And see any reports. Uh, so, okay, well, we I think. No liquor. We have an addendum, addendum for the law enforcement with Kensett. On that, Dan, you want to talk about it? No. Um, just the first one to come in, they all went out uh, with the new census that the new figures are on there. And then the $4 increase that we're going to do the next week is what we went to all the meetings on. So okay. that's just the first one of all them coming in. Okay. I will take a motion to approve the addendum to the agreement for law enforcement for the city of Kansas. Uh, motion to approve. Is there a second? I'll second that. We move and second. Any further discussion? Say there are none. All those favor say aye. 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 Motion to carry. Coming, so we got the appointments, I guess, right, Jackie? Yeah, you're not coming in very good for some reason. <laughs> okay, well, I think we, we'll, we'll muddle through it. We're not hearing you. Sorry. Okay, so. try it again. Try it again. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now? Barely. You're, Barely. you're really muffled. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Well, there, there it was coming. <laughs> Drink your volume. Or no. You come and then you go. It doesn't you fade in and out. I don't know what's going on. Can you hear me now? Yes. Right now we can. Okay. Um, Jim Ullman. Yep. He um, always turns in his request for the, the Winnebago Historical Society. Gotcha. Okay. You have those there. Yeah. Okay. So I, told him, I told him I'd share those with you. Okay. I guess, yeah, I wasn't sure if he was coming in or what. So, gotcha. Oh, with, with COVID and everything, we just, he decided against it. And he's requesting a thousand dollars, right? Correct. So, do we need approval on that? Or no, just, just no, that's just enough. part of the budget stuff. If you want to look through this from spare time, units and stuff, yeah. Okay, yeah. So he's requesting a thousand dollars, and that's he's come down on over the years, and so something we'll look at, I guess, right? Yep. Good work. So, okay. All right. So then, as far as the board appointments, we need, you want us to go through all of those? Yeah, please. Nobody told nine o'clock. Right? Okay. So we've got a stack of them here, Jackie, and uh, one of them is from the Worth County Conservation. That's Enos. You got reported to the board. Is that right? I guess so. 
Yep. Okay. And then the Niacog ones, you want me to go through those? So um, do you do you have that email that I sent? Uh maybe. It has them all in order. Okay. Got it. So do you want us to do one? Okay, so we've got County County Board of Health, three years of Diane Miley. Commission for Veterans Affairs, three years is Phil Hackbart. Weed Commissioner, one year, Mike Bodie. Conservation Board, five years, Terry Reese. Uh, County Eminent Board, Count, Eminent Domain Compensation Board. So, you don't need to go through all those, but um, you are one short right now, so you guys will have to find one more person. And what area? Yeah, what area? Um, Pick one. Well, it could be any of those. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, uh, we'll work on that. Zoning Commission, Jeff Gorbo, Dave Quisley, Zoning Board of Adjustment, five years, Steve Butler. Zoning Administrative Officer, five years, Matt Duvay. Northwest Iowa Care Connection Governing Board. Uh, AJ would be the lead person. Eunice would be the, the alternate. Uh, I need when, to change the name on that too. Sorry. What's that? I need to change the name on that too. Oh, to just Care Connections oh. in North Iowa. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Wentworth Petco Advisory Board at the Eunice. Three years. Uh, Board of Directors, Second Judicial Department. Correctional Service, which Venus would be the main, AJ would be the alternate. NICA, one year, AJ Stone, Mark Snavy is alternate, alternate, Rick Schobach and Paul Norwin. Transportation Policy Board is Mark Snavy and Melissa Michaels. NICA, revolving loan fund, Andy Helgeson, and airport zoning, ordinance board of adjustment, AJ Stone for three years. Now, if you back up to NICA. Yep. <laughs> Were you having issues with Paul going to meetings? Yeah, I haven't seen him there. So you might want to find somebody different for that. Okay, and that's just any citizen, correct? I don't think there's any special. I think so. Yeah. All right, we'll do some searching for that one then to fill that yeah. spot. I did talk to Rick Schulbrock. He was at the last meeting, and he's still, still going, still involved, so... <laughs> The other one that you could pick is he could have somebody else from his um, board so that he's got an alternate. Oh. If he didn't, if he couldn't make it, he could have somebody from his council go. That'd be another option if he had anybody interested. Right. Okay. But just need a motion for those so that I can get letters out. Okay. So I'll take a motion to approve the... Uh... Board appointments. I'll make that a motion. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All right. Motion will carry. Okay. okay. So then for the second judicial district, or is that one paper to sign for is, Patty Yetmar? Is that in this packet here? Yeah, I hope so. Um, or Chelsea maybe gave it to you? I'm not. Oh, maybe I didn't get it to her right away. No, so I got the Denham, I got the Heritage Park, I've got the one for Enos for the Conservation Board, I've got the uh, one from Niacog with all the appointments on there. Um, I don't think that's Enos. I think that's second. The second. Oh, uh, no, this is the one I no. got here for the County Conservation Board. Oh, sorry. Uh, nope, that's all right. I'm not, and I'm not seeing the rest of nothing else in the folder. Oh, okay, forget it. Okay. I'll catch up with you. So, okay. Yeah, you'll fill out, fill out the rest of this to Niacog there and see if we can get somebody to take Paul's place. And then, yeah, we'll look at the other stuff. Nope. All right, so, and we're not we're not acting at all on this for the with Kevin Epperly, are we today? That's table. No. No. It was in here, so okay. No. Gotcha.
All right. So, that pretty well covers everything on the agenda that we had. No, it's just the uh, department reviews. Um, I can go below those. When oh, sorry. Answers. Melissa, are you on? I am. Okay. Um, just uh, following up with uh, Ready Fuels today, and then we have an advisory board meeting on Wednesday. Okay. Be in Thompson at the Branding Iron. Go, Enos, or okay. Okay. You guys got anything else for Melissa then? Don't think so. All right. Thanks, Melissa. Yeah. Chris, guess you're on the agenda. Um, I think you guys have emailed the response yep. letter to the DNR. Yep. Um, pretty decent report. Um, I'm not sure what you guys think of the report. Um, just going through uh, number one was an airline, one of the airlines. We have to take a Static kind of pumping water level twice once a month, and one of the wells quit working, so an airline came apart or something. So next time we service the well, we pull it, we'll fix that. Um, number two, uh, they don't like our meter, so we had to buy a meter that goes lower than the readings that we're getting. So I had ordered that, but that's like I don't know, a month and a half out. So I ordered it. Okay. Can't do anything until we get it. So right. we're testing it with the equipment we have now. Um, she just wants to go. So when she was there, it didn't register, and she says it's got to have some register. And I'm like, well, if we're adding the correct amount, you shouldn't see a reading in the system because we're taking it out in an iron filter. But so she made mandatory that we buy a different meter. Um, and the fourth item was she didn't like that we didn't do a bacteria sample after we had pulled the mixer out of the tower. You know, because I, I did that on purpose by not emptying it but they still consider that maintenance since we had somebody inside of it. So next time we do that, we'll have to do the, the two bacteria samples. So I just said, yeah, we'll do that next time. So not a big deal. And then on our permit for do on our uh, disinfecting byproducts, the permit writer somehow used, when I worked for Diamond Joe, my address is 750 Diamond Joe Lane, but I took the sample in the casino and my permit says 750 Diamond Joe Lane, Diamond Joe Casino. Well, I still think the sample of casino, but it's using the, our old address. And so they had a problem with it. So they maybe change it to 777 Diamond Joe Lane. That's where the actual sample was taken. And she said they'll fix the permit because we're getting a new permit this year anyway. So okay. they're supposed to fix it. The left hand don't always talk to the right hand. So, right. Right. but I just had to address it. And so I, I did what we had to do. Okay. Um, that was the, the bread and butter of the inspection. We're good. Okay. If you guys have any questions, I'll answer them. Sounds like they're just justifying their jobs. So. Yeah. <laughs> do minor things, but what do you do? Yeah. Right. At least no. there's nothing major. Right, no. right. Just, yeah. No. yeah. Everything everything else can be fixed easily. So yes. yep. absolutely. Yeah. Department heads. Kind of thing. I don't think we'll get too far into the courthouse building discussions today or probably the COVID right now. But that's yeah, it. Look, everybody's back in their offices now. Yep. From a construction, de deconstruction, what do you want to say? <laughs> and it's all fixed up. Cleaned up. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like carpet to do yet. Carpet to do. Um, Brian needs to get a shelf oh, to get all supplies back. Room. Yeah, our desks are being shelved right now. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, he was looking at that and he called and found some shelving, but it was a tune of about $2,500. Oh. Or cabinets, I should say, yep. shelving cabinets. So I told him, oh, I might want to look around a little bit. Yeah. That seems just crazy high to me, but I don't know things are inflating, but. I mean, at least. If we're told them they're make buy something that we can reuse later. But, right. Yeah. You know, something we can move. Don't buy anything too cheap either. But yeah. You know, yeah, that seems pretty extreme for that seems like, that seems like fire rated cabinets or something. I don't I don't, I don't know. know. I'll look for some books and see, right. I guess. Yeah. But I could be off too and I have, have well, everything's doubled or tripled, unfortunately. So right. But 
So Bill gets something there that's not that terrible versus slapping something in there too that don't make any sense. So. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. As far as uh, building discussions, yeah. <coughs> well, we obviously know we got a lot of failing stuff inside that building. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess we need to look at taking that step now of the next step on a facility, which facility is going to get started, which facility is going to get done first, and how we're going to do it. Yep. Well, you know, we got to get something going. One of the buildings over there. Oh. Um, Lucked out. It could have been worse, you know. Right. Right. But I don't know what. Um, you know that agreement with FEH was for everything, but I don't think I think kind of pay as we as utilize go. that service. So it's not like we had to come up with nine hundred thousand to get oh, started. Oh, not right. you know we just kind of pay as you go, and once they they'll bill us for when they provide the services. But right. um, yeah, we need to get on that decision here real shortly. I think if we want to get this process going, it still probably would be two years easily before. Yep. Anything got completed? Yep. Yeah. We got it. We got to do something. Right. And it's just a matter of time before some pipe upstairs breaks. So, mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Most all that stuff is at the same age and not in good shape, but it looks like the stuff that was on the floor. So hopefully it's not as bad. You can't see it all, but there's got to be some that's not good too. Yeah. So. Right. The boiler put in in 1950, and you know, there's a lot of things that could fail here. Right. And, and we found out too how vulnerable we are, just with the slight thing it was as far as office staff and what we do. So, yeah, yeah. we need to work on an alternative plan too for the next couple of years. And if something like that happens again, mm -hmm. we need to have some backup. We have no place else to go. No. To make for it, problem. Yep. Um, we, we can come here on a short time basis, but not tough to get everybody in there if we had a total building shut down. You know, right. uh, one department could come here for a few days if they had to, but you know, other than that, there's no way we can move all the three departments over there over here at once. It would be. I think you saw a uh, small sample of what trying to conduct business in conjunction with construction, construction is too. So, yep. Absolutely, absolutely. And as far as the code thing, I think that's still developing. And keep working with public health on that. And as guidelines fold and unfold, we'll just have to deal with them, I guess. And just hopefully everybody that if they think they're sick, stay home, get tested before you come in, and you know that's a be a positive step. So. We do get a couple meetings, a couple. How about supervisor weeklies? Anybody have? I had, uh, well, we all had Windward Vesco yep. executive meeting. Yep. We looked at the financial report there and basically proposed the budget and approved it. It was the biggest deal. I, noticed. Yep. I had partners for children. Okay. Uh, we decided to fund YSS for strengthening family curriculum. We have some uh, criteria that we need back first. Okay. But, uh, and then we went through all the contracts that we have at the present time to look at their expenditures and what they spent because we don't want the money to revert back to the state. Gotcha. So other than that, Mark Cross called me and we talked for about an hour or so. Okay. Wonder if he was still around. I haven't heard from him. What's that? I was wondering if he was still around. I haven't heard from him. So. Yeah. He said he was going to call you guys. Did he call you? Uh, Not yet. Oh, okay. He probably will. Yeah, there we we're still going head to head on shadow flicker. Good. So Keep we had a conversation. Good, we had a good discussion. Good. So. Okay. Hey, dude. Uh, I just had one with Betco Monday. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, bunch of time there, and I didn't have any else the rest of the week. We also got canceled. So. Yeah. Went with Betco, and then I had hazmat and transportation, which we basically review. The speaker couldn't come, so we just did our budget reviews and. The uh, per capita levy will be up slightly on the hazmat side. Um, 
in transportation, like I said, we went over some of the programs like what Rich was talking about and the bridge thing, you know, you mentioned that. And so a lot of a lot to be determined on this federal money and stuff. So see what happens. So all right. So I guess it's it is nine o'clock. You guys are up. Hello. I just sit you sure can. Okay. If you're comfortable or less, we so can hear you. In the past, I felt like I had a hot seat or something, but <laughs> this one's fine. Okay. Um, I'm here again. It's my annual time to be here representing the county libraries. Um, I see Connie from Manly and Will from Kensett okay. and Mardine from Joyce are joining us. Um, and this is Amanda. She is our newest library recruit in Worth County. She's at the Hamlin Town Library. Oh, and um, Nancy Walk is still under Afton, but she's she's been having some health issues. So That's okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so last year, we, again, thank you for your support of the library. You gave us $19,000 each to support the library. Um, this year, we are asking again for another increase of uh, 20000 for each library. You know, inflation in everything, it feels like is happening, and utilities are worse, and even cost of books have increased a little bit. Um, we also want to be a little more competitive with offering better salaries. We are not well known for our, um, what we can offer to our workers, be that the director or some assistants. So we would like to reward our workers for sticking with us. Um, and I guess just as an update of what's happening with the libraries, although COVID has, you know, affected all of us, we are all back full strength as of to our hours and whatnot. Sometimes we have certain restrictions. As of right now, I'm not offering story time, for example, just because little kids and, you know, yep. germs, even if it's not COVID. <laughs> right now, it's a hard time of year. Yes, it um, is. Yes, it is. We, the Northwood Library has started two book clubs, though, so um, that's been exciting. The Senior Center is in charge of one, but they host it at the library. And then okay. there's another one. Um, so we're, we're continuing to work back on our programming because that's really a lot of what we do now, and so COVID has been hard for that. Yep. Uh, we also have increased our checkouts on our bridges, which is our online checkout of books that I know for me, it's doubled since COVID has happened monthly. We used to only check out about 112-ish, and now it's over 200 every time. And that also is increasing in cost this year. Um, it increases for um, how many patrons you have, or not patrons, I think it's actually per capita of your city. Okay. So ours will all jump up just a little bit, but not nothing horrible. So I don't think we want to lose it. I think all of us offer it, or maybe you think so? We do. I, uh, yeah, we just started it this year. We paid for that this year. Mm -hmm. okay. Any questions for us? And I don't, we were looking, or I should say we, I was looking at this before, and I just see there's, most communities put out just as much money as the county does in support of their library, and some are less. Mm -hmm. um, so for future, probably won't affect this year, but next year, we'd possibly like to see a little more support from that community mm -hmm. as money coming in, um, if they can work into their budget. Just, just the fact that, you know, there's, there, there's a gap in there. Yeah. Um, you know, some we we go we go to this limit. Some are right about the same number. Uh, a couple of the bigger communities have more. You know, have a higher number from their from their community. Um, but we just like to see that number get a little closer to the same amount of support from the city as what the county is doing. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I don't think it'll affect this year. But it's something we have a little plan. Let everybody know to plan on for next year. Mm -hmm. Try to talk with their city council and. And that is something I've discussed with my city yeah. council and. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember which towns it is, and I'm not yeah. pointing any fingers yeah. out. But I just want to. It just you know we've got no, a, a year to look into this and just <laughs> and we just need to talk with those guys because that's and I love libraries. I think they're a great thing. I wish more kids utilized them the way they used to when I was growing up. Um, but. 
it, it's just we've got to look at that as far as financial standpoint is of the amount of support we can give hopefully that community can give us and honestly you saying that is more backing to us to go to the city yes. to say that too so yeah because yes. that mm-hmm. will probably affect the fine the funding next year unfortunately three of these towns don't have a school in them which like when I, yeah. I grew up in joyce we we went from school to the library every couple of days it seemed like mm-hmm. uh, well, that was our library yeah. i think at that time but uh, yeah, so just a quick question. What's what's the other income like that you have? Other income sources that you guys get? Um, Sometimes are these like grants and things you can get? Well, yeah, I guess so. You just got a grant too, right? We yeah. we want to say all of us apply for WCD grants at least yearly. Okay, I didn't know if there's other things to the um, state that you can get. Fundraisers, donations. Gotcha. We do get some funding from this from the state, but I mean, like for us, it's like one thousand. Two hundred dollars or something, and that does depend on your um, tier level status. Like if you're mm-hmm. fully accredited, so depending okay. on what you. But just mean like Manly's got a huge amount. I don't know if they do a big fundraiser. You know, I know Joyce does. I'm not sure if it's Hamilton. I mean, yeah, COVID's I COVID's mean, messed up a lot of stuff. I'm yeah, kind of. Kind of but, we do. As I'm new, so we. Yeah. Have, I only. I believe we only do one official fundraiser besides our book. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And that's our ice cream social thing on the Sun train Day. tracks and yep. inland. Okay. We've increased our copying, how much copies we make because her house is closed. Oh, so geez. that's part of oh, what oh. we bring in okay. is our copies. And we got a copy stick from years ago. So now it's colored. So sure. Okay. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I know. I'm just curious. I just I know, I mean, I know like they do some fundraisers and uh, Joyce has a yeah. Usually does a breakfast yeah. deal or whatever has tried to do that. Right. Okay. Well, we'll uh, take a look at this, I guess, and yeah, see if we can make it all work. Appreciate you working hard. In that point. It's, I know I'm in a small community, but I see it's one of the only things that kids have. We tried it, especially in the summer. I mean, we. It's weird because it's January, but we're going to start planning for our summer yeah. program right now. So, yeah. uh, I do ask that, I guess, some of what we bring in too, we ask for donations for the summer reading program. Sure. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. We do too. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. Thank you guys for coming in. I appreciate Thank it. You. Yep. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Well, I guess I don't we don't have to stay right on schedule. I guess we'll go through. Dan, I guess you're up if you wanna if you're ready. Um, the Northwood budget, we did get a 3% increase this year, so our budget is at $374,049, and that's what they're paying us in, so that just covers exactly what our enforcement is. As far as going up in there, um, <clears throat> I just moved a little bit of money around, basically. Um, fuel is one thing in that one that um, we are behind on right now, so I put a little extra money into the fuel part because gas has gone up and you got to catch up with it. Hmm. On my general, uh, the only things I did um, with the union contract, a 3.75% increase for 22 of my employees, we went with that. Um, with the comp board's recommendation, I put eight in for my supervisory staff. Uh, and then insurance, I did move some money around uh, because we are going to, um, jail food has really gone up in price. Or it's just yeah. going to kill us. Gasoline again went up. Tires is going up big time. So I've increased tires, but I've moved the money out of maintenance and that to move into those categories. The other thing is with the um, being shut down where we were citing and releasing a lot, not only us, but the state patrol DCI. Um, our jails numbers are starting to pick up and we're starting to see those warrants come in. Last week we had a record where we had three cars going the same day on transports, one in Chickasaw, one Polk, and one Saragordo. 
never had three cars at the same time going picking up inmates. So, so do we get a reimbursement for that then from somebody at that point? We go out and we house them. Well, those are our inmates. There are inmates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're they're actually ones from this county that have. Yeah, they had warrants gotcha. down there because the pandemic, everybody okay. was releasing them. Gotcha. So they had warrants. So, and that's where I think you asked me. Yeah. Mauer yeah. County, we had to pay them, and we need to get them. Like with us, we do the same thing, and I don't okay. disagree. We give everybody a courtesy, like four to five hours to get there to get your. If not, we're going to charge you a day of room. Okay. Room. It just. And uh, because you know you still got the money wrapped into them with the food and everything yeah. else, so. Um, this is the last of the union contract. We do have negotiations coming up this fall. I would like to do them, start them a lot earlier than the last time because we ran clear into January, February before I could even put any numbers down. Yeah. Um, so we do have those coming up again this fall. And I'll talk to uh, Renee. Renee on that about seeing if we can't get the ball going September or something so we can see some real live numbers. Otherwise, like I said, the only things that went up were salary and uh, insurance. Yeah. Pretty much everybody's. Uh, so. Guys got any questions? Not right now. Just to well, let's see how everything plugs in, I guess, when it gets it all stacked up. That's uh, that 3% on North, so that'll cover, that's what they're. Yeah, raise the raises for the employees, right? Yeah, that's everything. No, but I mean, yeah, because that's that was that what the, we negotiated with the union last time. That three well, percent will cover that. What we did was three percent across the board. Yeah. So that's the okay. not only three percent on it's three oh, percent on the every, fuel, three okay. percent on everything. Okay. So with that, we but, just rolled the dice at a three percent figure for the next. Was that a three year or four year? The contract? They're three, three, aren't they? Three? Three. We go through 2026. I thought it was a, thought it was a four year. Four year. Yeah. Four yep. Okay. So we went up 3% each year, and that's on everything. So it's a crystal ball thing when you do it. So hopefully, what we do is hopefully everything weighs out. If we don't have to send anybody to the academy, we'll be fine in there. It's when we have to send someone to the academy, that's when that account gets hit down for you. Sure. So, um, I know in fuel, um, one thing, when we did the budget sheets, it looked like we were doing good on that. Well, Rich didn't bill us for a month, so we got two months and one month. And right now at December, which should be my 50%, the rural, I'm running 0.46 over, and in the Northwood one, Oh, that one's a little worse. Um, I'm running 11.83% over right now. That's going to be hard to control that fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what well, always is. I mean, yeah. it's been reason, yeah. you know. 10 cents at the gas pump usually means about $6,000 on my budget. For the average for the year, yeah. And if you have a 50 cent swing in a year's time, it's like, oh, crap. Yeah, it's killing me. Yeah. Put you behind. It's mm -hmm. nice when it drops 50 cents, but it doesn't always happen either. So. Right. I mean, it, yeah. And I mean, our squad cars got pushed back this year. Um, we finally got the third one done. The fourth one still has to go up to get done, the, the jail one. And, and the only thing I did different in there, I didn't put any money in for the sinks on our budget. That money's in there, but that's only to be used for certain things. But we did put money into our probation account um, to replace the vehicle in probation. So we'll try to do three replacements this year. Yeah. And that's where sometimes they have bulk fuel capacity is it's a good deal. If you're, you can do some right buying. Yeah. And you can stabilize your cost a little bit. Well, we're seeing a big difference from the explorers to the top, from the top of to the explorers. Um, you know, we're saving about a gallon a night for each unit. Sure. Um, the other thing that is when we switched from Verizon to AT&T, surprisingly, we got AT&T first net, but I bet we were saving three, $400 a month by making that switch from AT to AT&T. It helps. That's, yeah. a big, that's a big... For a year. I mean, yeah. so, so, tires, yeah. tires are ridiculous right now. Did you get some bought up and stored? You were talking about... I'm that. working on it, yeah. um, that, but I haven't got anything firm yet um, okay. that we may have to... We could get a better deal by going through someone big. We might have to take a trailer to Des Moines to load tires up and bring them back up. But um, 
I'm working on it. I, okay. I haven't got nothing firm yet. Okay. <laughs> we'll be going down February 9th or 10th or whatever. So yeah, we can pull a trailer down. Bring Take back. a trailer with us. We could have their time. Right. You can pull the trailer. Be tricky you parking. Or, <laughs> be tricky parking downtown tomorrow. Yeah, it'd be tough at the parking ramp. Took it <laughs> years ago. Well, oh, and, and that's where I talked to. We'll like, go afterwards. You know, we like to stay local with our money as much as yeah. possible. And it wouldn't be cutting them out because we're getting state bids from them and just get a better state bid at volume. We still be bringing them back and doing all the the switching over and all that here. And I, I talked to Kirby and Joe, and both of them are fine with it. Yeah, I mean they kind of yeah, yeah, gotta do it different times. It's cheaper to buy a new vehicle and just put the tires on them. Well, I mean, the problem too is that the, getting them, getting the tire. Yeah, it, yeah I, you know, I know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Car wise, I don't know how bad it is, but I'm sure it's going to get there. Just like the how far out is it now, rough place? Anybody know? Semi-wise, I don't know. You know, I mean, I know the rumors my, are going around. You weren't going to get them by the end of the year. My, I think it was my brother flat close. spotted two of them, and his one of his axles was stuck, and he didn't know it at that time. And he got replaced the same day. So okay, they still got some yeah. around. Tony's, I think. There's still a few around. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, you try to ordered. keep one set on the shelf at Kirby's just in case. So. Yeah. And they ordered. Uh, Tires for my wife's escape on uh, like a Wednesday, and they were there the next Tuesday to keep it on. So. Yeah, I know I got some in the year for my pickup, but I mean, they were 30 to 50 bucks <coughs> higher than they were. You know, I mean, he gave me a good price on them, but yeah. they were going up that much in the next couple of days, another mm -hmm. 50 bucks. You know what I mean? It's, uh, oh, these were, we, we paid for them in September when we, yeah. we bought the car off lease. We paid for them then and just told them we were. And get them put on the next time we did an oil change. And sure. yeah. They didn't order them until then. I said, well, it's three hundred fifty dollars a pop. Mm -hmm. That adds up. Yeah. Tower rental. Joel and I really haven't got any bites on that. But the logger rental is still going good. We got four renting, and we've had some interest from some others, but no one's bid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take them as they come, I guess. Yeah. The logger's doing really well. I mean, that's paying dividends for us. Okay. Good. <coughs> Is mm -hmm. it allow somebody else to replace it for us? Yep. Basically. All right. Well, any other questions for Dan right now? Nope. Okay. Bathroom and all. Jesse, no. Whenever she can come in here. Good. No, I don't. Yeah, my, my mother said I was a poor <laughs> Yeah, I grew up a five to figure that we won't make I have to admit, that's the first time I ever tried it with anyone. Yeah. And that cured me of it again. <laughs> Not for that, huh? And take long to get that right back out of your system. Yeah, it didn't take long to get out of it. I never eat I never eat big beans till I was in there. No, like when you're going through basic, it's like if they put food in front of you, you're gonna eat it because you can eat it. Especially if they these these aren't that bad, I guess. Yeah. Now with bushes and, and the way everybody can dock your beans up, they're really good. So yeah. they're pretty good. Yeah, just regular old band camps, porky beans. It's like, mm, yeah, I can make they're it. They're a little so flat. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff. No, I was going to ask you about that. I had trouble opening it this time. Sometimes when I send it to Zip, it has difficulty. I can send the stuff out individually. I might have to do it in a couple of emails. I don't know why sometimes if you zip it up and then if you don't have the right thing to open it. Send me out, send me in a couple of emails. Because yeah, I, I try to, there's four different categories in there. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't get that thing to open. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen that. Is that a week from Wednesday? Hello. Hey. 
a little handier this year for you. I know. Like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> We're thinking about confiscating it. Gonna add on to what's well. Well, <laughs> yeah. you know, drastic times and drastic measures. Oh, that would be easier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hard to dig a basement under existing. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, we probably should have grabbed the walls. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of coaches. Coaches. <laughs> Take over the whole block. Anyway, go ahead. All right. Do you just want me to kind of? Do you guys have questions? You put want the highlights because you know okay. it's the numbers are going to be plugged in and then yes. we're going to look at it again. So. Okay. So for the nurse budget, some of the changes here, um, we did put in the 6% cost of living for staff. Um, and then as you can see, the line item official publication and legal notice grant promotion, um, that one went up. What that is, is we have received federal funds, uh, approximately $94,000 to use for local public health technology upgrades. So that is money that would come back in. Um, let's see another area down towards the bottom there, uh, line item 44424, um, that one increased as well. Um, with that, we found out that the current software program that we use will no longer be available for use at the end of 22. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which we've used for many, many years. Yep. So um, we are gonna have to, with the new software that we're looking at, it is gonna be electronic health records now, which will be completely new for us because we're out, we've always been paper records with our current program. So with that, um, it is gonna be a little more costly. We are looking into, we've reached out to surrounding counties to see what programs that they use because it would be nice to get, get on the same. Um, so we are looking into that right now, um, the programs that especially like Mitchell and Winnebago are using. So with that, there is an initial startup cost and then the monthly cost. So this number, moving forward wouldn't be as high as you know due to that initial startup is that something that's eligible to use the federal money for or no i reached out on that and they said no not for your own internal software the one thing i'm hoping we can use it on is which i know we can um because with the electronic health records the nurses are going to have to carry laptops or ipads into the and the home care aids into the homes because you're pretty much doing your charting in the home um, so I think we will be able to get laptops through that, um, probably the iPads too. So the electronic as a part of it should be covered under that. Yeah, get whatever you can from, yes. <laughs> from yeah. that money. I mean, Absolutely. push it, get whatever you can because yep. it's, yep. yeah, it's going to help us on the other side of yep. software. Yeah. Have to make the changes. So. Yeah. So. Unfortunately, that's what we're looking at with that. Yeah. It lasts as long as the old system that will help. I know. Yeah. But, yep. Okay. So that's kind of oh. the changes in the nurse budget. Any other questions on that part? Okay. Homemaker aid budget. Um, again, the cost of living. And then um, for motor vehicle equipment, we are this month we, um, applying for a WCDA grant to get to replace one of our home trade vehicles. So hopefully we'll get that, and that's where the increase in thirty thousand comes from. So that'll be money back in as well. And then we did bump up um, for the office the four 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 two four again, same as with the nursing. The aides also use the software program, so like a fourth of it goes with their budget, and the rest goes with the nursing budget. Um, environmental health. <laughs> we did. We are getting more. Um, the grant funds have increased, so that's why some of those numbers went up a little bit there. But that's if we use it money back in, um, other than the engineering services, that's the only non-reimbursable group. Mm -hmm. 
and transit, um, cost of living there. And they are still receiving the time and a half for hydro pay through NIACOG and on there, and that will continue as long as we're in a state of emergency. So mm -hmm. that's applied with that. And then everything's reimbursable through the transit budget other than the dues and membership. Right. Any new buses coming this way? I guess I haven't heard much of them. I don't know if they're getting... Well, I haven't heard anything. Yeah, I didn't hear anything going to the meetings either, I don't think. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're going after more, how that's all working. It fared pretty well last year, wasn't it? Last year, two years ago, two did we get a new one? Last year? We got two. We're using two, two different buses. Yeah. Right. Two, three years. All right. Yeah. 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 I know it was in the last couple of years ago. Yeah. 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 Buses, so. so I know they bought a bunch. They were, yeah, they only had to pay like 20% on them or something. There's 80% grant or something yeah. like that. So it was, they got a very good deal. Good deal with them, but. Yeah. yeah. I don't suppose it's possible to go to WCPA with a software up grant going from paper to digital for the <laughs> health department in the county. Could thought of that. We you know, Teresa did that with Joel. They put together a grant, took everything in the recorder's office and went digital on that. Digital. And we got, gosh, I'd say 140, 50, 60,000 or more. Or more, more from it's them. Been quite a bit, yeah. I I don't know. We could look into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, for like the more for like just the startup cost, you're thinking, you know, because otherwise it's just the monthly, the monthly not the monthly deal, but the startup cost. The startup. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just hopefully. to get us over from paper to digital for the county. And we're looking, did he say like 10 to 15,000 on mm -hmm. startup? That's right. how much. Yeah. Otherwise, it's yeah. the monthly cost. But yeah. Yeah. They're not going to pay the monthly cost, but they to kick in, if they pick up the tab on the startup cost to get us. From paper to digital for the county for the health department for mm -hmm. equipment. It's yeah. a possibility. Yeah. Was it hard? It's not hard to write the grant, is it? No. no. Worst thing to do is say no. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If, if you kept your request to ten thousand, you wouldn't have to have a second bid. Exactly. Oh, that would even help. Well, that's right. You keep that so hopefully, some of the other funds can be used for some of this too. Yeah. 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 So always, yeah, you have to get a second bid on everything. It's over ten thousand. Yep. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Which we've already done but even, even, if, even gave, if they gave 10 and we took the rest, that's if they're taking two thirds of it. If it was 15,000, if they're taking two thirds on, mm -hmm. on this on this budget, that's that, on the startup cost, that's pretty huge because it's really big. We're county. gonna be, we're gonna get hooked with the maintenance, we just, yeah. That's, that's, but it is a big county before. improvement to go from paper to digital. It is, we're one and of I the would only think they'd back that 100, percent yeah. We're yeah. thinking about taking the county back to paper and get rid of all this IT stuff. Right. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I, I'll try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's worth a shot. Yeah. I could, if you no, got time. You don't need uh, you don't need board approval for that. Uh, no. No, we can we can do it the next meeting. But I would say it would be worth a try. Okay. I never I'll thought about that. that. Yeah. No, I didn't. And you wanna you wanna help guarantee you'll get it. Estimated cost of fifteen thousand. You you're asking for ten. 10. You'll pay the other five. Right. You'll probably see it because yeah. then you've got some skin right. in the game. Yes. They're yeah. going to help so they, they, they like it when you put something yeah. in with it. Yeah, be okay. working together. Big on this budget. Mm -hmm. Two grand's a lot of money. Okay. And if you can get it. Mm -hmm. so. Same with a vehicle. If you've got it, I don't know. Are you going to the whole works, or are you just going to go, or do you have money set aside that you could get through yeah. with it? We so normally we don't. Go after new vehicles, and, and mm -hmm. you know, I just told him. I said, you know, it's kind of foolish not to. Yeah, I mean, we talked about this with the state, right state bid and stuff. Because the way yeah. used vehicles were, we were buying good, mm -hmm. really good used vehicles. Danny's been doing a good job getting good used, but used yeah, vehicles right now are virtually the same price as you can yeah. get a new one discount yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. So, exactly. so did you go after the whole thing, or yeah, yeah, that's what it, I would have done. Yes, with the bids we had, it really helped. I mean, Danny got yeah. some good bids. So. It'd just be minimal. That would be county. Yeah, you know, but. We want to make sure we spend it all too, so we don't want. Right. Yeah. Be, I mean, we got to have maintenance. Well, that's budget. you know that money's coming in. We might as well. Mm -hmm. They're looking for places to use it, and what better places than county health? Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, it doesn't, and that's one thing that really doesn't increase the cost of the budget like this. The right. Stuff. I mean, we, we got to have those cars. We have maintenance, we have fuel, we have all that anyway. And yeah. If we put a new car out there for once, mm -hmm. you know, less, every maintenance, years, less maintenance right. and probably three less fuel. Right. Yep. Yep. Three to five years. Right. You know, they do put miles on them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, we appreciate this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for, great. yeah, yeah thanks for one that's one that's one that's one <laughs> I figured the conservation department could get a skid loader. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, that's true. That is true. So it's worth it. Yeah. Right. We'll try for those two things then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Mm -hmm. okay. I say we're we're flying blind here today. Yeah. We'll, we'll look at these again on that. So yeah. that goes. Yeah. Appreciate you coming in. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Teresa on there. Yeah, she don't have a microphone, so she probably won't be showing up. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah. We're way ahead of schedule. So. That's good. Well, we had this conversation too. Maybe, you know, sometimes this is. I don't want to say a waste of time. I, mean, I think it's important to come in, but you know, until we sit down and look at it plugged in, we don't have a clue. I mean, at least hit on the places where we see these increases. Yeah. As mm -hmm. to why. Yeah. Well, good discussion just yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, this was a good idea. I didn't even think about that at the meeting the other day. That, you know, just like, oh crap, we got hit with something we got no control over. Cause... Well, it surprised me when she said she got the car. Well, we haven't we got it yet. We, yeah, but I mean, we yeah. mentioned it to her last year and she went after yeah. it. So, well, that was a good it, it was foolish not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like I say, we've been on a rotation of used cars and the way of used cars are just ridiculous. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I think the state that we people prices are pretty decent. Right? Yeah, they aren't too bad. You know, they haven't taken the injuries like. Well, I would have ventured to say we would still be looking at close to that on. Um, Say a 15, 20, you know, like a program car, or whatever you can get fine on, we'd be looking at about the same money within a couple thousand dollars. So, yeah. why would you not go after new? Either way, you could go after a grant for either one. No, why would for you brand new one, you've got three years of warranty, but yeah, I'd go after a new one. Used one. Yep. No, it's mm -hmm. probably don't have a warranty unless you want to spend it. Yep. Money. New is you better. Spend 20 bucks on that. Plan. New is better. Yeah. It is right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, these used cars are just out of sight. <laughs> they say they yeah, I heard people say that they've gone into that. Leave you a check. Here you go. We change the oil and here's your check. As long as I don't have to pay for the oil, I'll do it. Yeah. All right, Teresa. Um, my. Overall budget really didn't change other than the increase, hopefully, of the 6%. Okay. Um, it is a renewal year for boats. So that's why there was a little bit of an increase on postage okay. and materials. Um, as I kind of cut those last year, when you guys asked us to tweak our budgets. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to bump it back up to cover of sending out the renewal cards for boats. Well, you don't send out renewal notice like for ATVs. It's all online, isn't it? Um, no. Or do you we, send them out? Maybe I missed it. The DNR, we can request an email list if in your DNR file you have you your d email in there. Okay. What we do, we request the DNR listing and then Jolene sorts through it, figures out which ones have emails versus just Okay. Address. And so anyone that does have an email, we send out an email to, as a reminder. They will not get a postcard. Okay. So are you required to send out postcards? I'm no. just kidding. This is a courtesy. It's a courtesy. Liz had always done it. Yep. There's some counties, they don't send out any rules for snows or boats. Yep. And I've contemplated that, but yet I've had so many people and it's, it's commented, you it's know, easy hey, I like getting forget. my card. It is easy you to know, forget. or getting the email. So when people come in, we try and ask if they have an email address mm -hmm. so we can just email them the notice because that has really cut down on our postage. Um, 
but there are some, there's that generation that still likes to get that card in the mail. And we do a yellow card and that's what they're used to seeing. So we've stuck with a yellow card. It's easy to ignore the emails too. Yes. But I just, you know, when we're looking at overall budgets, if there's things that we do or don't have to do, it's mm -hmm. like, oh, maybe I, that's what we're going to have to go yeah. to. If you know, guys but, want me to, I just, you know, yeah, you know, I'd rather have you do it like you're doing where yeah. you keep soliciting those emails from them. Yeah, because each in. year we get it. Every time you more. get them, more and more you get. Mm -hmm. We just cut this number down each year. Yeah. yeah. But boats, we have a lot more boats in the county versus really? snows and ATVs. <laughs> Um, well, I suppose. Yeah. But yet, boats are on a three-year cycle. Yeah, it makes, it makes it worse because so you really difference. forget. It's, yeah. yeah. Do, um, what percentage of that stays here? The like boat registration with the DNR. The write-in fee. Two dollars <laughs> fifty cents. <laughs> you know, we get. It's not that. good. God, you're <laughs> welcome. Knew that. There's a lot of things that should be stay. Okay. Well, other than titles, we get a dollar twenty-five. You know, but we still should. That needs to get changed. And well, and that has something. You know, we've tried in the past to get the fees increased. Um, it's pretty much the DNR. Right. Yep. And mm -hmm. they just increase the fees. Just some back more to people doing the work. <laughs> that would be nice. You know. Because if we, they did that, if they did that, you know, well, we had increased the fees and they sent that back instead of them saying, Oh, wait, we'll take half of it. You know, yeah, that's what happens. So, anyway, appreciate that. Yeah, go ahead because on a three year deal, a small fee is not that. No, I didn't give a dollar 25 is really nothing. No, yeah, no. can you get a and, can you get a popping? And when they do. <laughs> You know, sometimes they'll send us a check ahead of time and then we'll process it. And we try and ask them to send postage to include a dollar for postage. Mm -hmm. So that way it doesn't come out of my budget. We're right. sending it out. Right. Sure. It puts it back on the customer. Yep. You know? I would think that would be an automatic. It is on all new machines if they get them from a dealer. The dealer collects that dollar yep. for us, you know. So when we process it, we keep that dollar for postage. Mm -hmm. So it does cover the envelope and the stamp. And you can't drive the town for a buck. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't start your truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's like I don't serve gas. Like mine <laughs> warmed up this morning. It took more than a buck. <laughs> well, that's like my rates too. I mean, it's just it's an extra fifty cents if you send it in, or you can drive your truck and go to the treasurer's office yourself. Yep. And it looks like for fifty cents. I'll send it to you in the mail. You know? Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, so we do try and have the customer pay the postage, mm -hmm. but there are some they send us a check, but they don't include the postage. postage. So, you know, I cover the postage for mailing it out basically. Yeah, because you can't bill them. Well, yeah, you can't. You know. It cost you more to bill them. <laughs> That's what I said. You can't bill them. To, like, get, to get the dollar twenty five yeah. process. So here we go back and forth. I got a buck, but I spent I spent three dollars. <laughs> Posted back and forth. We lost two bucks in the process. So that's why so we try and ask for emails. emails. Yeah, that's if good. They come in, or if they call us, we'll pull up the <laughs> DNR record and okay, let's just verify the email address so that we yeah we won't have to mail anything because ideally I would really like to just email. Yeah, that's quicker for you guys. But there are so. some who don't have email. No. Some they don't check it, so go no, send me a postcard. I feel like in the treasurer's office when I do my truck and trailer, there's a fee on there. Yes. Yeah. Because if you go to the office, it's less, mm -hmm. and it's not that much. It's, and again, it's, it's like you, you couldn't. If I don't it wasn't think it's for, that much, is it? It, was, it might be fifty cents a vehicle. Uh, it's a little more than that, but it's anyway, still, it's if you, cheap, you can't unless drive, you're coming yeah. to town, you can't you can't drive to town for that fee. You're mm -hmm. better off paying the fee. You know, I mean, theirs is added right on, but it's it's a little different if you're driving by. But yeah. and after the pandemic, more and more people are just doing it. They're not showing up in the office. Yeah. You know? Well, they didn't realize they didn't have to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you get in the habit of doing things. And, well, you know, it's a, it's a social aspect for a lot of people. It's the only time you really get to see you guys. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. And even you know, since we were closed three days last week. Oh. You know, the mail, you know, our, we got quite a bit of process today, yeah. you know, but 
Did they do a good enough job in your office? I guess what we're asking. I think so. Yeah, I didn't. It didn't. It smelled. I was over there this morning early, and it's looked pretty good. You walked in the front door this morning and said. It actually smells. It smells fresh. fresh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For long time. It's the cleanest it's, it's been in a long time. Yes. Smell wise, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just, it's mm -hmm. an old courthouse, but it yeah. smells clean, cleaner. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, you guys have any other questions? And no. if you want me to quit sending postcards, no. I will no. leave that. It's your department. <laughs> it's your department. I mean, it's just that. I mean, it's easy to say. Okay, there are we, some reporters if, they don't send. If it came down to we were cutting budgets, you have something you can work with. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're trying to make dollars, and yep. then it's like it's it's your department. So and we'll see what happens. And mm -hmm. That's all we can do. Yeah, I don't. Well, I think you're doing it the way it should be yeah. done at the present time. Yeah, pushing papers, emails. Good. Yeah, just keep trying to get as much of that. To the digital side as you can i guess mm -hmm. there's always going to be that 20 percent that's not that doesn't do it that way no. you know no matter what if you got them all you're never going to get there's, that 20 there's people half my age that still won't use email right, right. so well, they might have an email but they've never checked never ever really checked yeah. it it isn't, it isn't important to them yeah i mean they, they, they have to, when they have to conflate what their email address is then you know i'm actually getting ready for the day that i don't take emails anymore so enough of that i just ain't gonna look at it <laughs> Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Okay. So basically, can you hear me this time? You bet. Yeah. Good. Okay. Basically, everybody else is not coming. Oh, okay. So, oh. That's right. so what I was wondering is. Would it be okay if we just put budget on next week too? So if anybody wanted to get in or else, and I can give you updates too and get you some more information also, I might leave it on for the next two or three weeks just to yep. well, keep it going. We had the discussion when we talked to you Friday, you know, maybe this is something that, you know, we've always done it, but is it, you know, are we going to, you know, versus getting the numbers in and then sitting down hard and crunching and stuff, you know, Maybe that's something we'll be looking at going forward too. Yeah. I mean, because it's you know this is the first time we've seen them, so it's like well, you know. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's on the same boat, like always. Every year, it's salaries and and benefits. Health insurance. Yeah. Health insurance. Yeah. So. But it's nice to have them show us the areas where it jumped. Yes, I mean, and, it, and the reason hurt. why it did. Yeah, it doesn't hurt for them to point that out. So. Yeah. So we're on uh, Thursday morning with insurance. Correct. You're gonna be healthy. I hope so. I, I've had enough of this. I bet you have. <laughs> this I was a... almost excited about being at work today. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess then we'll just uh, nothing else today. I'll take a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll say it. All right. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carried. All right. Everybody stay healthy. I'll try. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Or I'll see you Thursday. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Right.